the birds is right. Hello, Christy. Hello, Ruth. How are you guys doing on this awesome, awesome Monday? Huh? That's the question. How was everybody's weekend? Hopefully it was awesome. Ruth and Christy are already here. Nope, Amy's back. Hey, Susan. Hey, Celeste. Hey, Megan. Krillin, what's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Had to go get her sweater. Had to go get the sweater. She's back. Yes. Barely. <laughs> Sewing. <laughs> oh no. Why? Always sewing. Hi. Okay. Hi. Work roomies. I love it. Megan, I love it. That's cute. That is cute. You is cute. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Ruth. Um, my grandma is What's the word. I'm gonna say surviving. That doesn't sound good. Um, she's okay. She's not great. Still rough days, but I wasn't. She has some clinical aids there so um i was able to come home because she has some care for her for a while she's still not great she's really really can't talk and um uh, you know things are slow she is suffering from alzheimer's what i can't see Are you like this? I literally was like, there's three. I literally showed them to you. <laughs> They're all posh. Oh no, that's the actual eBay. You're gonna have to go to the post office. Yep. Oh, they won't, they won't keep up. So you did the scan sheet without all the packages? <clears throat> I, yeah, I had it in the I had the one big bag and what? Yeah, I'll have to take this later. I'll go right after we're done. I have to. <laughs> well, what's the difference if they already scan them in? Is the mop in there? I'm sorry. I really don't. Probably. Yep. Go now. Well, go now? Yes. It's not going to go out today. Go now. Go now. Oh my, God. my husband is a stoner. Okay. 
So I'm going to start tonight by sewing on this button. Dan's going to the post office because he forgot half of our packages today. That's what kind of day we're having. Literally half of the packages, one of which has to go out today. Okay, so I have this Missoni jacket, and look, it was missing a button. And I was freaking out, like, where's the button? And then I was like, about to donate it because no I'm kidding I was feeling around for the button and in this pocket the pocket is still sewn shut let me go the right way here but you can feel what I hope right here is a button in the sewn shut pocket that's designer for you you know what I mean so I made uh drafts for all of these today so that we can get them done Except that my husband has to go to the late post office now. So he'll be back in approximately one half of an hour or more. I am going to sit here and sew this and talk to you guys. And maybe start taking pictures because that's what we got to do. That kind of a day. Yeah, I'm really tired. It's It's been a, you know, it's been some time. I got back late yesterday to Southwest, which is at Love Field, and they had a shooting today. I'm like, okay. It's just there a few hours ago. Was not involved in said shooting. Thank God. But dang. You're just not safe anywhere. You just never know, right? You just never know. Okay, so I'm cutting the the stitching of this pocket just a little bit to see if I can squeeze this button out. No lie, y'all. I'm going to sew this button on so we can list this. All right. So cool that it was just kind of like buried in there, isn't it? Feel it. Please be a button. Also, please be the button that I need. Wait, what? You're here along for the experiment. Good evening, love. Yeah, the mop head. Mm -hmm. It was a whole bag of packages, all the boxes. He just didn't take it to the post office. I love him, but he is flighty. And we know that. So when he does this, he has to recuperate and do things and go to fix them. So we have a post office that closes at 830 well, it closes at 10, but the packages go out at 8.30, and it's currently 7.38, so he has to drive all the way across town. It's the button I needed. So I'm going to sew on this button, and then we're going to list a bunch of clothes before he gets back. That's what's going to happen. I'm so tired. I was on the plane, and then, you know, just trying to get caught up again with my life. We're going to see... So to sew in a button, you want to look at the thread color that's already there and you want to try to match it as closely as closely as you can with whatever thread you have so that it doesn't look like your hand did it. So I'm looking at all my different thread choices here. This one's pretty close. Okay, so we're going to go with this thread. This is a mess right now. Keep If you go to the hotels, make sure to get sewing kits because they're free. And sometimes they have really good ones. Like the sewing kit I have here is really good. Okay, so I'm going to take this taupe color thread. Hopefully you guys are getting work done tonight. All right, we're gonna sew this button on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through how to sew a button on. I believe that anybody watching can sew this button on. Uh, there's no country song about mops. Um, I will tell you here, since this is a live, it is someone in Garth Brooks's 
band and they use the mop in the entry song in the intro of the song friends in low places i bet you didn't know there was a mop in that song but there is which i didn't know either and the funny thing is garth brooks is coming here on saturday so that's the show they need it for it's this big hundred thousand person show i just didn't want to like put him out on youtube for all of time um, isn't that interesting? That's what you get when you come to a live. You get all the insider info. So yeah, no mop. And we listened to it a couple of times. And I can't figure out how the mop is incorporated. We did ask. And he kind of told us. We still can't figure it out. We're like, what? But it's a pretty big thing. And I want to make sure the mop gets to the celebrity guy who played the mop is in the Hall of Fame. So that's cool. The Rock and Roll Music Hall of Fame or whatever it is. So the man needs his mop. Dan went to take his mop to him. <laughs> what is this world, right? What is eBay? It's so strange sometimes. You get these weird requests. I don't know that we would have found out this information, but we we're, you know, communicative and he just gave us the information. All right. So you cut a piece of thread. If you have a sewing kit, whatever thread you have that is closest, tie a knot in the end of it. So you have two ends of your thread. We threaded it through the needle, which is here. You guys remember this from home ec class. I'm sure you do. Tie a knot in the end. where the cats are breaking in here. Hello? Hi. What are you doing? I got a save by the late postman. You saw him? I did. And did you say that they're going to go out tonight? Yes. Okay. Are you sure? Yep. There's a mop in there that is going to someone very special. Did you tell him that? I didn't have time to tell him about the mop, but <laughs> he was like, I got you, bro. So I said. Okay, well, can you get me, bro, tomorrow and not forget the packages? Yes. Okay, so we found the button. Got the button. Got a return package as well. It's wonderful. We'll see if that gets <clears throat> processed ever in our lives. So many returns. Yeah, there's going to be a, a bunch coming. He found a postman or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't want to ask. All I know is that yarn is much lighter than that yarn. Dang it! One of these buttons has been re-sewn on and I picked the color of that yarn and it's not the color of the other yarn. I need a dark red. Son of a... Is that kind of a day? Yes. Should not be working today because I'm crazy. <laughs> Stop. Stop. That's the truth. <clears throat> I wouldn't lie to you. I told them about Garth Brooks. Okay. He's going to go live. Okay. All right. So he said, you know, special info here. It is. Most of this stuff hanging right here is just like. I put tickets on every single one of them. I There's know. 10 things. I was going to ask, is it more mannequin stuff? It is all mannequin stuff. Perfect. I'm trying to be very selective cool. and helpful. And all of the things. I very much appreciate it. Okay, we're in dark brown threadland. We're going to start again. An imposter! <laughs> hey, Amanda. Dan got lucky. Ruth came in. <laughs> Ruth came in hot. Yeah, he did. Because I was about to shoot him. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube. Yeah, oh well. They're going to get me. <clears throat> They're going to get you. He I has did. one job. He has I to got... take the packages to the post office. I do not have one this job. This is not the first time he's forgotten <laughs> the packages. True. I pack them all up, I put the labels on, and then he forgets them. I don't know what to say about it. All I know is I'm sewing on this Moschino button with hotel thread. Moschino. With a sk. Send him mops to Garth Brooks, okay? I don't know what that is about. 
This needs to go in the Carrie's tiny, like, tiny I keep lady. listening to country songs, listening listening for mop, so I had to put her out of her misery. <laughs> like, you're not going to hear the mop. We listen for the mop, too. I don't we can't hear the mop. I don't get where the mop fits into this whole thing. Love Amy's eye rolls. <laughs> we asked her pictures. I'm glad someone... Dan put a note in the dang box. Like, send us pictures of the mop. If he can read <laughs> said note. God, ruthless. They know. They know. I don't know if this Masonic dress is going to fit on this lady. Then take the freaking banner down. Good lord. I didn't even know that was on. I'm sorry. Jeez. I had no idea that was on. I, I swear. You don't have I was rushed. I was. Amy, they're like, it's your. I'm just I saw 7 30 and I was like, oh crap, I got to go live. And I... They kept saying I'm the alter ego. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Son of a man, this is rough. God. Okay, so we have our thread. This is the hardest one you have, so I'll let you do this. We have our thread, we have the knot tied in the bottom of it. At least Dan helps you. She said, I have no help. Well, if they leave the packages, <laughs> woo! Questionable help, Ruth. Questionable. Okay, take your um. Little needle here. Be nice to the poor man. I'm trying, <laughs> y'all. I'm trying. It's frustrating. I'm trying not to be frustrated. I'm real moody today, I guess. I'm tired. Okay, take your needle, stick it through the fabric from the back. Put one of your buttonholes on there. Buttonhole. Come up through the button until you hit your knot. Hold the button into place so that it is the correct way because like these buttons are horizontal so you don't want to be diagonal the buttonholes are horizontal oh okay so you went up through one buttonhole and you're just going to go down through another buttonhole it's really simple the ending is a little more complex a little bit now these buttons what do you do you're just go for it <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, these buttons don't have a reveal in the back, but they, they sure do. Okay. They, they really do. <clears throat> okay. A little two-piece number. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to make sure you're doing is not doing... The wrong upsy downsy sidey wet wet. Hold on a second. I got all sorts of problems going on. So these buttons are sewn vertically. So you want to make sure just to match the way that they're sewn. So you go up through one, down through the other, up through the other, down through the other. That's as good as you're going to get out of me today. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Button hold. Y'all need to stop. You now need to stop trolling you, me. You leave her on there. You stop it. <laughs> Don't make I'm me. Sewing on this mosquito button that was magically sewn into the pocket. I'm Sorry. super excited. I'll I think this jacket's worth a lot. I'm listing it for eight ninety five. I couldn't find the exact one, but similars were listed for like eight ninety five. Yeah, yeah so I was like. To find an extra button? Yeah, it was so. Oh, you weren't here. Yeah, because you forgot the packages, so you weren't here. But <laughs> in this, I was feeling around, and it was in this pocket that's sewn shut. It was in there. That's what happens when you buy a thousand dollar jacket. That's they amazing. Sew the button into the pocket. Yeah, yeah. they better sew. Right. <laughs> yeah, these are really, really specific buttons, though. If we hadn't had this button, I don't know if we could have sold this jacket. I mean, we could have, but like for pennies, you know what I mean. Wait, am I sewing this too high? Hold on. Does this look too high? I used the OG like where it was sewn. Which one did you do? The one that looks too high. This one? Mm -hmm. like I a... used their holes. I didn't use them. I needed to go up there anyway. 
All right, so it's going to take me 45 years to sew on this button. Way to go, Mosquito. You can't sew on a button, Krillin. Come on, man. Even I can sew on a button. Yeah, I can sew on a button. I made him. I think that button lessons. Yes, we have. Today's just one of those weird days where I'm trying to like get back on track. I'm a little bit cranky, a little bit stressed. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get get it together here. My grandma had to go back to the hospital because we thought her brain was bleeding. Yikes. You know how that goes. Not stressful at all. No, of course not. Jesus. <laughs> Well, her face was drooping really bad, and I was like, uh, what? So, of course, I go to Dr. Google, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> face drooping after stroke. They were like, it's very possible to have a stroke 24 hours, and I was like, uh-oh. See, somebody, see, mm -hmm, this is what had happened. So, I ripped them off before. Two different colored threads on here. Mm -hmm. Yep, see, yep. These buttons already had been done when fell off. I gotta get some thread. Okay. Anyway, so we had to call the paramedics. I had to go in the ambulance with her. She was flipping out. Lord. Where's my sewing box? Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Did you find a good one? She is okay. So okay is relative in this situation. Her blade, her brain is not bleeding. Um, her face. We don't know why it was drooping so bad, but like half of her face was like bad. It was like this. I looked at her. I'm like, holy. So call 911. Because my uncle was paralyzed. And um, they came with two fire engines, two double fire engines. Okay, this is in the middle of DC. Two double fire engines in the rescue squad and blocked, blocked, the, whole blocked the whole, like by the metro. They blocked <laughs> the entire. Connecticut Avenue. They just blocked it. I like went out there to get an ambulance with her because she wouldn't go without me. I'm like, oh my god. They blocked off the whole and this is the route that the vice president takes. So like this was right at rush hour. I couldn't believe they did this because if the motorcade had come through, what would have happened? <laughs> like I don't even want to know what would have I don't know what happened because we weren't there by then, but maybe the motorcade tried to I don't know. The motorcade always comes at 5 30 and this is exactly when this was happening. It was like a full they probably on. Got, they I probably, know. They, they probably listen to listen to the scanner. No, like, they probably like chopper, bring uh, in the rewrap. chopper. So a lot of times the VP takes a chopper. So the VP lives right up the hill from where my uncle lives and my grandma lives. So every morning the motorcade comes down and goes back up the hill. I'm sure that sometimes it's a helicopter, so maybe they just took the helicopter. But like they blocked up the whole DC. What I mean, DC, like the one metro and like the motorcade route. Gotta do what you gotta do. And then we go in there and we're standing in like the, um, no, mine is done, sorry. And the, <laughs> I gotta go get my friend. And anyway, we're sitting in the thing. <clears throat> and there's like COVID people everywhere. I like have my arm over my nan's face. I'm like, oh, we're in the waiting room of. Like, oh, she's on the gurney. And people are like, <laughs> like caught. I'm like, oh, my God. Y'all, if I have COVID, I am not surprised. Like, I I mean, I've been testing, but I don't have it. But if I get it in the next day or two, I am 100% not surprised. Because we were, like, in the emergency room, waiting room, waiting for her to get a bay. I'm like, can we just, like, get? can you leave her out in the parking lot? Like, something. This is not where I want her to be. She's 91. Do not want her to be right here right now. She had a paper mask, but like, just like a surgical one. You know what I mean? She's been vaccinated and everything, but I was still worried. Because BA5 is railing through everybody, right? Like, 
I was just like, oh yeah, we're gonna we're getting her back there. And it was like 20 minutes. I was like, uh, okay, we already have been all of us got COVID right now. <laughs> Oh, it's so stressful. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm getting thread. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I, I didn't even read comments. I'm sorry. I didn't even. <laughs> I need a choosy picture. Just letting you. Yeah. Know. Huh? I said a copy on it. I'm gonna have to go get real thread out of the front room. I'm sorry. Oh man. None of these colors are right. It's a $895 jacket. I really don't want to mess it up. Can you check it on the comments? Uh, I will try. Yeah. Tape measure. Where I don't even know where to. Mm hmm. Did they say she had a TIA? I, I'm not sure. I'll wait for her to get back. Considering going back to my last nine to five, they're really short-handed. I was so unhappy there, but tend to make tend to make others' problems my problem and try to fix them. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I know somebody that does that or tries to help out everywhere. What was what was the the nine to five? What's happening, Matt? What's going on? Like, is you gotta you gotta put it you gotta weigh. You know, like with everything, you got to weigh the pros and the cons. Is is the paycheck and the benefits worth sacrificing your free, you know, your self employment freedom? And if you if you are just a full time, right? You do this full time, right? Question mark. Um, is it worth it? You know, your time. Working in an accounting department. Oh, man. Question for Dan. Thoughts on Christian Dior, Monsieur, or J. Crew Ludlow? Sport? Ludlow every single time. Pick up a J. Crew Ludlow every single time. Um, the Christian Dior, hey, it depends. Like the 80s ones, I probably wouldn't right now. But if it's older than that, maybe question mark. I wouldn't pay more than like three three bucks for it though. Tracy, no. I'm assuming in response to Amanda going back to the nine to five. <laughs> Why did you advertise to didn't you advertise it was a drama? Oh my god, I'm getting caught up. What? I didn't even see my that. Life, James said that. My life is a drama, James. Oh, okay. <laughs> we never know. I don't know. know what a TIA is. What does that mean? Temporary ischemic attack. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it was. So she got the whole head scan and the whole injection the second time they don't know what it was but they knew that it wasn't a hemorrhage so we went with that and then she got to come home because she got the same she got the thing twice she just can't fall so you have to chase her around everywhere she's not allowed to walk anywhere by herself even with her walker we got oh, to chase her fun around. so i got to go to the bathroom with her and everything so fun so fun. yeah she got the the ischemic stroke she had 10 doctors. She was at Georgetown. Really, really great hospital for strokes, apparently. So that's good. Okay, that's great. Yeah, they're the oh. number one in the country for strokes. I didn't know that because they live closer to Sibley, where she was at last time when we were doing this whole rigor mm -hmm. Last year, the exact same day, just so you know, when she broke her hip. And um, she was at Sibley, and this time they took her to Georgetown, which I was confused about because it's a little bit further away. Yeah. But they're the number one in strokes, so... Now that makes sense, now that I know that. Yeah, she wouldn't get in the ambulance without me. I mean, not that she had a choice, but she was flipping out. Like I've never seen before. So I was like, I'm coming! 
COVID be damned. <laughs> <laughs> like, you leave my Nana alone. You leave her alone. <laughs> you get away. This is not the right color thread. I swear this is the right color thread. Uh, again. This is going to have to do. Yeah, I, this is taking me forever to measure this thing. Why can't we work? What is this? <laughs> Literally, this is, what is going on? How is this so light compared? I mean, I did look at it in the dark. I'm going to try this one. Then you, like, take it off the thing. Just... No. You leave her alone. Was rough today. I'm sorry, you guys. I just got to deal. Love you. Keep talking about I'm rough. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking about it. Sport coats are a different breed, though. Men are picky for recent tags, it seems, unless it's an iconic vintage. I don't know about that, Tommy. I think it depends. Pretty much so. I mean, the J. Crew Ludlows sell super fast for us. Mm -hmm. They sell every single time. Yep. Not for, like, the biggest money, but money enough for us to flip them, for yeah. sure. We don't lose money on them, that's for sure. Juno? You know? Juno? You know? Good one. Jeez. Good one to pick up, I think. Yes. On your yacht, Monsieur. <laughs> yeah, you can't leave them behind. We sell. We used to sell a lot of Dior double breasted. That was like our game for a while. Yeah, then it just kind of fell off. Well, I don't know if we had any more. Well, we definitely don't have any little sporty man. Little sporty man is the ish. <laughs> so if you have a little sporty man one. Those, those sell real fast. And yes, yeah, some people have brought up in our group like it could be the women buying them. I don't know anything about that. I just know that the little sporty man sold the fastest and for the most money. I don't know how you say little sporty man in French, but it's on the tag. It was very funny. You will Google it and you'll, find, <laughs> you'll be like, oh, this is a little sporty man. I guess you could Google a little sporty man. It was like a super 80s looking jacket. Yeah. The double breasted, and it was like gray with like, it had like flecks of red and blue in it or something. Girl, I did not remember that, but I remember that little tiny Dior sells with the double breasted. <laughs> <laughs> All little, I know. Little tiny Dior. Oh, look at you. It's little, just a little guy. Sexy man. <laughs> I mean, sporty man. <laughs> sporty hey. and sexy. Could be Whoa, sexy. Could be. Yeah. What up, Paul? How you doing? Hey, hey, what's happening? You made it time for knitting hour. Sewing on buttons. <laughs> this button was hidden in the pocket. This is a first for me. Normally, they're sewn on the tag on the inside. This one was hidden in a sewn shut pocket. Show everybody what you're working on. It's this is a Moschino new. jacket that I think is worth nine hundred dollars. Very nice. Very nice. Based on my compage, nine hundred dollars sold. Beautiful. So hopefully we can get it out the door for that. And with this new shiny button, yes, we're going to be making moves. Come on, Eileen Fisher, two-piece suit, get in this bag. So on all the Eileen Fisher tonight as well. There is this post on another group that Eileen Fisher doesn't sell anymore, and Emma, I felt like Tommy, like, <laughs> yep, doesn't sell. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Stop selling it. Eileen Fisher sucks. <laughs> I did not do that, but I wanted to. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> we love four, four really substantial pieces today. I would be like, mm hmm. Uh -huh. Another one of those. I'm going to have to squeeze by you. What? I can't. I'm with you tonight. Oh my God. I'm about to fire my one employee. No, oh, please. Come on. <laughs> I've been working so hard. You're going to get written All up. Day. <laughs> Been, I'm already pulled over, sir. I can't pull over any further. Yeah, Dan watched your live the other night. I told him it was on. I watched a little bit of it. But yeah, I jumped. Awesome. I jumped on at the end there when I was done in here with the with the solo solo live. Yeah. Sad attendance was poor at the solo lives. Oh, nobody wanted to watch you. They just want to watch me sew on buttons poorly. Yeah. 
That's good. Yeah. You got that. Why was it? That sucks. You guys suck. <laughs> Wait, were you not talking about? <laughs> I, I was trying, but no, not like anything like you. Of course not. What? How am I going to do that? I can't do that. Sign a listing with Anne. Basically, I was like, I, I kept saying I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, this schmuck keeps, keeps apologizing. Uh, it was rough. I'm sorry, you should have canceled. I told you to have a guest on, a guest appearance. Who would have guest appearance with Anne? Somebody oh, in this chat would have. Fix it. Way off. What am I doing? All right, this was way off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We had to watch Courtney. I apologize to Dan. Courtney is a must watch. Damn! Dan, you know how you rank up now. I do. It's fine. <laughs> Tommy's waiting for Courtney to crack. They, they apologize. It's fine. <laughs> Fine, guys. It's fine. He, he cried about it earlier, but it's fine. <laughs> I did. Anyway, we're listing a bunch of stuff. I pre drafted <sighs> them just so we could go faster, but obviously, <laughs> that's like something's Dan, not right? working. Come on. Dan tried to go to the post office twice today, but then he found the mailman. Oh, man. You guys saved my life. Did you tell me save us? You I a did. Tip? She gave him a tip. Is He's like, I'm usually, I usually come right around this time. This is usually my time, 6.30 to, to 7.30. Okay. And they go out today. That's what you said? Okay. You best not be lying. Don't you lie. Oh, right. No, no, we're talking about Courtney Common Tags, Courtney. Yeah. There's a couple of Courtneys in the reselling world. I only know of one Amy though. Oh, hey, and one dance. Hey. I don't know of any other dance. What's happening? Do you want me to put your computer on? Or... Oh, this oh. computer. Sorry, I was trying to figure out what you're talking about. Sorry. <laughs> Let me just finish sewing this. Yeah, do your thing. Knitting hour. Knitting hour with Finished. Amy. Finished. I'll squeeze by and get a box. Awkwardly. I'm not moving. I don't, you don't need to move. <laughs> I was hoping you would have cut off the bottoms of these when I got back, but you didn't. Cut off the bottoms of what? The things that we talked about cutting the bottoms off of. These shelves so that you could get by. Oh. I don't think I have to cut. I think I have to unfold. Yeah, well, I was hoping you would have done something. Well, um, in that in that vein. Okay, hold on. I, you done made me mess up now. Oh no! Now I done messed up. Yeah, I didn't even. I froze. All right, what are you guys working on tonight? Let us know, people. What are these, what are these comments? I don't know, but I messed up twice now. Tommy said, oh, there's a very popular Dan. He goes by Art Vandalay, though, on YouTube. Yeah. Why well, you got to show your bubble like that? <laughs> but is he better than our Dan? Should we have a Dan off? Who's the better Dan? Megan, yes, you were here. Megan says, I was here too. I counted better, of course. Oh, yes, you do. I can only imagine what if I made a guest appearance, three year old running naked or naked in the background, <laughs> stopping to nurse the toddler, total meltdown, total bed lamp. Wait, this sounds exciting. I know, right? Oh man, this I can't keep up. Sounds super exciting. Oh man, there's too much. I can't keep up on this. Oh screen. my god. I gotta go over here. What's the difference? I don't know. I got I can expand it more, I guess. There we go.
Paul's listing some sexy Coleman lanterns. Oh, they sell really well, don't they? Especially right now. Yeah, the old ones do. Jealous. And Matt is asking, didn't he change his name from Art Vandalay to something else recently? Okay, everybody vote. Who's better, Art <laughs> or Dan? And then Tracy said, Dan on demand. Oh, yes. And no, Matt said, that's it. Tracy, you know, Cynthia has literally run out of stuff. What? All Cynthia? she ha all she has left is some crap and those Hickey Freemans. We'll get those Hickey Freemans listed. Let's go, baby. We'll help you right now. Let's get them. Get them out. Let's go. <laughs> Tommy said he did, Matt, but I refuse to acknowledge it. <laughs> Ruth listed ten this morning, and she's relaxing right now. Good for you. Love Celeste her. is listing clothes. Hi, Celeste. Tommy said send those shoes to Harry. Paul, Paul, he'll pay 30 easily, I bet. Everyone's making fun of him. Amanda. Amanda, the other Amanda. Okay. Watching you guys while drinking wine on the back patio. Need to take photos, but we're taking we're tying up the phone. And Christy said Dan 100. Nice. Tommy said Dan is better than Dan 100. Not all Dan's are created equally. Except that you don't know which Dan he's talking about. See, Damn that's it. how he does it. The smart, see? <laughs> All right, I'm done sewing this. It's not the best job I've ever done, but... Cynthia has listed zero today. Took the day off. All right, you can get a day off. Y'all, we almost took the day off yesterday, and then I asked Dan if he listed on Saturday, and he didn't. So we didn't. We came in here and listed. We did. And we didn't tell you about it, and we're sorry. <laughs> not sorry. Not. We're in and out of here. We listed 10 things and a couple hundred dollar things in those 10. So we're like, okay. okay. I have the tiredest face I've ever had on YouTube. Right now. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm. <laughs> what is this? Fontaine made in France. We wave. Very heavy and stretchy. Oh, this I mess. forgot to take that tag off. Sorry. What? Where? Hey, Marianne. I'm redoing my inventory system. Yes, that's the best thing you can do. That's uh -oh. amazing. Amy loves inventory systems. I almost called you, Marianne, but then I found some YouTube videos <laughs> from my <your> grandma. <laughs> we were doing YouTubes, but I still might ask you what are the better YouTubes because the ones we were doing were not great. She can say a couple words, and one of them is my name. This is cool. Very, very dark navy blue with the black. Great, this is gonna be fun to photograph. You need highlight here. We'll experiment right now. I think the way I have this in this corner, I think, I think we're okay. And you say that every time. Shh. And then you send over a black blob. Listen, no. you can't fire me if I quit. Okay. <laughs> I have to subject myself to this hostile work environment. Um, Monday is my new reset day for the last three weeks. It's been Tuesday or Thursday since I started. When they flip it to Monday, Monday is ours too. We've only sold one thing today. Oh, maybe that's the maybe that's the thing. We've only sold one thing that's all day, and it was a lovey for eight dollars. Hey, what? So far, yeah. Man. Hopefully, it picks up overnight or something. Come on, faucet. Let's go. Yeah, I found some videos. I was just doing some normal words with her. Um, she can't say strawberry, so we were trying that. She can say Amy. Um, but I know she screams it. Amy! Okay. <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> she can't say much else, but she can say my name. And um, so I figured out which word she could say, and then we did more of those kind of sounds. I don't know, but I was going to ask you if there's any special ones I should be doing, because they haven't called. The hospital's supposed to call. They haven't called. She has no, so she has no speech therapy, and her face is drooping. Oh, <laughs> That's going to happen to me. Mm. I'm going to droop my face already. Okay, what's happening? Dan's lashing out. <laughs> <laughs> Lilac Seller, what's your name? Hi. I'm going to list something real quick. If you could turn on my screen. Here we go. Megan already finished her list. So Cross-posted and relisting with a migraine. Oh, oh no. Migraine is the worst. Did you take something? Eesh. There you go. Screen is up. Okay. 
So I just don't want to get too far ahead of you with your anxiety. Me with anxiety? I think that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's just this crazy town. Why would you ever think that? That was a good one. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go here to the selling. Oh, you usually catch us on replay. Hey, Meg. All right. Welcome to the live show. Welcome. Are you listening hello, to us tonight? Hello. Or are you just like dropping in? Either way, it's cool. You cool. Cool, Meg. All right, we are going to go to our drafts here and try to sell some things. Okay, so many Eileen Fishers. This is the um the two piece. I know, I'm just trying to find what I the stretch knit track suit. Track suit. The track suit. Track suit. All right. So what I do is I just put in these ghost drafts so I don't have a label, a skew or anything. I just like kind of sell somewhere off something and try to find the price. That's all I did. It took me a long time though because I got stuck on this Moschino dress, not the jacket. I got stuck on the dress. I don't really want to talk about it ever again. Okay. What's which, the number? Which, which dress? Five, six, four, seven. This one? Yeah. Oh, Missoni. Oh, the Missoni. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Very, very, very similar. It's stuck. Okay, what's happening? The number? 5647. Yep, and then we're just going to go ahead with those pictures, buddy. Incoming. So this is where we should be able to save time when I was thinking about it. You should be able to send me the pictures. I can finish the draft while you're photoing the next one. Yeah. So it should technically put us, like, one ahead. Okay. Did you hear how I said technically? That was tough. <laughs> you're the shit here. Bye. Hey. <laughs> Bye. Hey. You be nice to me, baby. <laughs> Y'all, I want you to pay attention to Dan's choice of tag holder downer. <laughs> it changes each night. <laughs> it's whatever Today, I, I usually, we're on I was, looking, I was looking for these, and I couldn't find them. This is my of choice. <laughs> so tonight, we're on a paper clip. <laughs> sure, better, better than, than your finger. finger. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he used to hate his little finger in there. You know how I am all annoyed. All right, do you need a side light? Are you getting I'm the try, texture? I'm, I will hold a light I'm here. Trying. Like, if you you can't try from the front to get well, side I haven't, even, I haven't even, like, I just started, like, focusing. Okay, well, if you hand me <laughs> this light, I will hold it so that you can get a good oh, right. image. Girlfriend hey. knows how to do this, and you just won't take my advice. Tag holder downer. <laughs> Tag holder downer. It's an official term. But if you look back through our listings, it's always something random. Yeah. Dan just grabs whatever's around. It's better than his hand, though. How's that looking? Or what about? You're okay. What if I do this though? Because I can get the backlight too. How's that? It's not really better. It's pretty good. Yes. I'm just trying not to like. So this this shirt that you can't see that we're taking a picture of has a ton of texture. Now, if I get close to it, I can get it, I can get a good shot of the texture. So we're trying to get the texture. And I'm just listing this draft. I'm not first class. It's going to go priority probably. You didn't get that flat rate. Envelope, the track suit. Um, I mean, yeah, I think so. Is it less than two pounds? Yes. Okay, are we done with this shirt? From the front. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be okay. All right, one listed. Dun, 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 dun. I always use a quarter nickel, and it drove me nuts when they walked away from the table. See? You just got to grab whatever's there. Go for it. I'm just not a fan of people's fingers in the... It makes me weird it out. <clears throat> what are you telling me? Because it looks so... Because it looks all right. That looks like this? No way. <laughs> I can't find it. It sure wasn't worth as much as I thought it was going to be. 
I might come mark it up a little bit because it is right. 90s Y2K. I can't put that in the title. Is it looking okay? Yeah. Monday's normally a good night on the live. Normally people get a little fired up. Me a included. Lot of people here. <laughs> Dan's lashing out. I feel it. <laughs> It's the old lasher. Is there any re reseller drama that went on while I was gone? They missed. I'm not prodding. I really don't know. I don't think there's anything. There's that one article going around about the post office stopping rates. Uh, discounted rates, but I don't believe that'll happen. It wasn't from a reputable site, so I didn't even read it. But that was last week. That wasn't this week. That was last week. For God. some reason, 11 and a half shoes are slow sellers. There's been a few dinosaurs left on this planet. 11 and a half have been slow. That's interesting. So when I tell you every single person on the flight I was on was wearing, every single person that I could see within where I was sitting was wearing on clouds. Really? Every single person. Wow. From the person in front of me to the person up front, you know, up to the right of me, to the side of me, and to the back of me. And, and all in the row, too. So, on clouds are hot right now. Super I've never found hot. a pair, but yeah. uh, everybody was wearing them. I saw one person wearing hokas, but that was in line to get into the plane. But everyone that was sitting near me was wearing on clouds. I'm just giving you guys my observational Probably. analysis. <laughs> Amy, I'm sorry. I didn't think to use a tag holder downer. <laughs> tag holder downer. Well, now you might. If it's your finger, it might be fine, Megan. It was Dan's finger I didn't like. My finger no good. <laughs> he has lemony snickets. Stop. <laughs> 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 His finger looks like lemony snickets coming at you. Lord of the Rings style or whatever. You know, it's like some kind of wizard finger. <laughs> I did not like it. <laughs> put, your, put it up in there close so they can see. No, get away. What's that rusty bucket? Yeah. I need keyword videos because I stuck at it. <laughs> Matt said, Dan's lashing out like a drunk white you trying to cut off from the open bar at a wedding. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I could. I don't go to weddings for this reason. <laughs> open bar, dude. I know. I have no self-control. <laughs> to me, I'm so frugal. I'm like, ooh, free. <laughs> Better load up. Load up while you can. Exactly. On cloud sells same day, every day. Hoka within one to three days for the most part. If you get a few weird sizes, I hang on. Yep, on clouds like the ish right now. And big logo Patagonia shirts. That's everything I was seeing. Patagonia t shirts. But not small logo, big fat back of the shirt logos. I think maybe, you know, COVID restrictive, sitting at an airport is the best way because people dress to be seen when they are at the airport. I do not. I wear like the biggest blanket you've ever seen, poncho style, like so that I cannot be seen. But I think a lot of people dress in their like, because when they arrive at the airport, someone's picking them up and mm -hmm. they want to look trendy and good. So the airport might be like sitting it. I mean, don't sit in the, the ticket area of Southwest at Love Field because you'll get shot. <laughs> but in maybe other airports where you won't get shot, as in today, uh, might be a good place to pick up on styles. Right. Could be a good recon. Yeah. We have an old, large, back logo Patagonia T-shirt over there. Doesn't say I hate people. Really? <laughs> That'd be awesome if it did. <laughs> it does, but it's not a Patagonia shirt. No, no, it really. It's like a fake. No, we have one, a okay. real one. I th I'm pretty sure we do. But if we have a shirt that says "I hate people," that's even better. Young youths are wearing Crocs in California. Okay, good to know. Still holding on. Crocs. Fires here in Oregon. Oh no. Matt says we used to call joints with hash and then wizard sticks when I was in college. Wizard sticks. <laughs> That's funny. That's Dan's fingers. <laughs> he got all the wizard sticks. 
Oh, on cloud yeah. does much better on posh anyway i can see that it's very very trendy i feel like the trends do better on posh and then the classics do better on ebay that's just in my mind how it goes i don't i don't have proof of that though so i don't want to say it as a rule i wish i could source cowboy boots enough to make it a niche i can sell them all day long where you live in Oregon, why don't you take a road trip? Because we have cowboy boots in every single thrift store in Texas, and so do they in Oklahoma. A what? lot of them are marked up here, though. Yeah, but, but if you can't find them, no, not always. Not, not always. Not always. But. Especially if you go out of the, into the sticks. I did not see cowboy boots in Colorado, where I recommend going there, where I recommend everyone going. But Oklahoma and Texas, man, take like cowboy just go to every single thrift store and just like sh 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 try to load up your car. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're only yeah. off one objective. Cover roots focused. They sell so fast. I wonder if there's a way to online source these for you. I'm going to think about it. Or reach out, arbitrage them. You know, our friend Melissa Osborne that's normally on the chat. <clears throat> uh went to a country concert and she was taking okay. pictures of everyone wearing cowboy boots and they were all cheap they weren't like justin's or hirachi or anything like that. they were like what do you call it? like plastic what do you call that material like cowboy boots right now from that real polyester Poly no cowboy boots yeah polyester mm -hmm. no like faux leather what's that polyester polyurethane polyurethane <laughs> No, it's not okay. But. You're killing me. You're killing me. You said you said something? Yeah. We're on number two. I always find it weird when certain types of shoes sell better on certain platforms. I tend to sell most of my Skechers on Mercari. That is interesting. Wow. Your pictures are crooked again. Ay, ay, ay. So I just keep happening. And there's no texture in them. You have to get close for the. You just it doesn't. That's why I have like two pictures getting closer and closer. Like it's so dark with the black and the blue. I don't. I don't know what else. At that distance, it just it doesn't. It shows but barely. Like you have to zoom in. It's not gonna. I don't know how to get it to pop. Like. <laughs> we just we tried it. You were holding the light. You know? No, that's just one though. You need to have the in a back light. You're blasting it from the front. That's the problem. You have to blast it from the side. You were. You were holding it. You and the ring light and that light are blasting it from the front. Okay. So you're blowing out any effect of the side light. Is what I'm trying to say. So anytime you blast light from the front, it flattens something out. So you need to be up and above it to either get, you have to get, right. you're looking, wait, listen, let, okay. listen to what I'm saying, because everybody might listen to. You're trying to get shadows on the garment, right? So if you're blasting it from the front, everything's flat, because there's no, there's no three-dimensional shadow. There's no overshadow, undershadow, nothing. You know, when you're making a three-dimensional letter on PowerPoint or whatever, you know, you move the shadow around. Well, when you're blasting it from the front, there's no shadow. So there's no dimension. So you have to like lay off the front light and really get into the side lights. So you would have to turn these off and just use side light and then turn like lights on in photo room. That's how you get the texture on that shirt. It's going to be a big black blob. Okay. <laughs> so tell me that before I put it away or... I was trying to. So let's do it. Let's put it on there since it's stretching it over time. Let's do an experiment. Everyone in the chat needs to be Right here, This is the meat this is the medium mannequin, huh? If some of this stuff is gonna fit on this. Ooh, McCray has picked way up. What?
Oh, you some more hokas. I find that interesting. Okay, so we're going to try to get better pictures of this in the front. We just need front better pictures. So turn off the ring light. You all have to deal with my face. And deal with the side light. That one needs to come down to the side. All right, whatever. Try it this way and see if it's better. Is there nothing in the front? Yes. I'm going to try to balance this one out and come to the bottom. Like if I just t you know tell it to focus on it, it blows it way out because it's so dark. Yeah, right. Can you hold this? Move it down a little bit. Can you fly it? <laughs> no, like actually fly it. What do you mean? Yeah. Move your hand out. Where's your floating room? It's all it's open. I'm just gonna do one. I thought it'd be one. Is all like my withered hand. <laughs> oh no! Why? Why my withered hand? This one. Oh lord! I try to improve it, and it's worse because of my withered hand. Okay, and then where's the light on? Right there. We at least got some shadows going on. Good. Whoa, this isn't going to work because we have a withered hand. Okay. So, Did, was it like this before? <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like this? We need arms. Okay, hold, hold this. Oh my god. Wait, should we? Shouldn't we be like this? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's how you wear it. That's why it looks all weird. <laughs> oh my god, I can't with you. Yeah, that's how you can wear it. You know, like your arm, isn't it? Okay. Can you turn on the lights? Huh? Can you turn off the lights? You don't have to, but it'll make it better. <laughs> <laughs> it would! Oh! Alright, come on in with it. Oh, 
The sides are being crooked, it's better. Did it on my phone. Okay. Are you good? Yep. Totally better. <coughs> Look, I'm serious. You okay. can see the texture. Okay. Do you not agree? Let's I'll put it to the test. 100% you can see the texture. It's the overhead and all the things. Okay. Right, we're but, back. I mean, Hi. But we can't. Anyway. No, but here's the thing. If we batched black things, yeah. we could do, the, we know how to make them look good. Right, but if they're in the middle of like a a run of things that aren't black, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now that we know that we can make them like the texture pop, y'all, I want you to see this. I want you to see the difference. Okay, I know that it's it's like a little thing on this shirt because it's not worth that much, but on other things that are black that are worth a ton, like suits, this makes a big difference. So this shirt has like a crazy pattern on it. And the one that you can see on the screen right now just looks like a black dress shirt, right? Let me airdrop this to myself and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. And the two blacks, the black down the front is not the same as the black on the shirt. The black on the placket where the buttons are is not the same. It's a different color black. You're about to see the difference that the right lighting can make. And it's not that big of a difference. It's just a shift in where the light is. So we took out the... Um, yeah, you haven't seen the good one yet. Yeah, and they do look gray. They're blown out. You're right, Tommy. Picture four and five are blown out. Um, the shirt is a little more gray on the sides than it is in the front. It's a little more light black, I'll say, like a vintage black. Wait, is this not going? Oh, wait. This has to go on Wi-Fi on, dang it. trying to get hacked at the airport. And that's where people get hacked, right? All the time. But anyway, I'm working it out here. It's coming to the phone. Um, Is it on the computer also? Yeah. I don't think I've seen you a picture of the black board. Okay, so here's the picture here that's like black, 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 which is not what the actual shirt looks like in real life. This is what the shirt looks like in real life. Okay. You, can you see that there's a texture on it and that this is blacker and the collar is blacker? That's how the shirt looks in real life. I'll blow it in for you. See this texture? You see that now? There was no way of seeing that before because we were blasting it with front light. If you have something with a recess or a, a proud texture, then you need to have side light and not front light. And that's the only way to do it. Like if I could just shout it from the rooftops, I've made many videos on it, but I can't get enough people to watch them. And I could help. Can you guys see the texture now on this shirt? As long as you're signing, it's fine. <laughs> Can you see Dan? Come here, look. See? Yeah. The circles? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going for. So every, we just need to batch black items. You know what I mean? Okay, I don't 
don't know how to get back to my list anymore. Anyway, hopefully that helps you in some sort of way. And this is the other picture. Let's see if we can see any texture on it. I don't think so because there's nothing to bounce off of. We zoom way, way in, we can kind of. But that's not what people are looking at. They're looking at it on their phones. You know what I mean? What's the number on it? 5648. Oh, I had it on my computer, the Amplified Team Size Chart, but I already this one. Is that first class? It probably is, yeah. Smack it! Smack it. Yeah. Yeah, I just did that. I did it on ProCam on my phone. And it was better for sure. The iPhone app on our iPhone tens, the photo app is not the best. We, need, we keep saying we're going to get new phones. Are we actually going to do it? Maybe. I just hate how you have to rent them. I hate that. Yeah, I mean, you I mean, don't have to, but you know, I don't feel like putting another 2500 bucks or whatever it is up front. I know. Should we just... Aren't there free phones places? Okay, this is the orange open front. Do you think that's orange? Should I call it peach or something? Yeah, it's not orange. I know, but what color is it? Is this more red or pink? Is that the red or the white? <laughs> peach? That's kind of peachy. We got some people in here from Atlanta. Is this peachy? All right, Tommy has a 13 Pro Max, and he says the picture quality is stupid good. That's one review. We might have him sold. I do not want the Pro Max. I want the Mini, whatever the hell the Mini is, because the whatever phone I have is too big for my hand. I have carpal tunnel from it. I'll take the Pro Max. So he'll get the Pro Max, and then our phones won't get confused. That'll be great. I want whatever the small one is. Is there a small one on 13? Yeah. Okay. No, not this size. Smaller. Yeah, there's a mini. Mini. I want the mini. Pretty sure there's a mini. Because, like, stretching my... I can't reach all the buttons. I freaking hate it. And then I drop my phone all the time on my face. On my face. Ow. 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 Every time. Son Dang it. Oh, Megan said just buy refurbished on eBay. That sounds risky. I'm kind of into it, though. Are they guaranteed in any sort of way? Is it from Apple on eBay? You know, certain stores, certain stores have eBay. Free people, you got eBay. Y'all know who has the eBay? I know I've said this on here before. Thread up. You know how many things are on Thread Up's eBay? A million. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at right now. eBay. Y'all, Thread Up is two time in us all, and we don't even know it. Wait, how do I look for somebody's store? <laughs> Just type it in the search. Uh, what is wrong with me? What do you, how do you find a safe seller? I don't have a safe seller. How do you find a store? Can you change what you're searching for? I don't know. Is there a little drop down or something? I'm trying. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, advanced. Thank you. Tommy says, you know, it's like 0% interest. Who cares? That basically is what he's saying. Advanced. Where's advanced? Advanced search. Over to the right. Carrie, I love you. You're helping me out here. Thank you. Top right. Y'all, y'all. Hey, Fiona. I didn't know you were here. Oh, hello. Hello. Bingo. Hello. What am I doing? Sellers. What are you doing? 
Uh, oh, I want to show them how many thread app has. It's crazy. You already said a million. No, I don't want to be like. I wanted to be like for realsies. Okay, now how do I go to their store? Zero results for thread up. I don't know what I'm doing. You can find seller on an app and seconds. Exactly right. I don't know how to do this on here. Let's try. Didn't work out, did it? Anyway, ThreadUp has a million listings. So not only on their site are they... Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? And I'm not trying to get all conspiracy on, on anything. But... But... but ThreadUp, you can set your price as a consigner. I'm not setting my price on eBay because you can change your price at any time. Like, how, how does it, is this stuff that's not up on Threadup? Is it cross-listed to eBay? This is where I have an issue. Why didn't Threadup sell the Rockies they sent me? Exactly. Like, what is their game plan here? And how do they have more things on freaking eBay than they do on their regular site? This is where I have an issue. <laughs> they do. Yeah, that's kind of strange. A little suspect. All right, I just did it on my phone. They only have 98.1% positive feedback, though. Uh-oh, uh -oh, might lose top rated seller. Slackers. They've sold 185,100 things on eBay. Oh, Lord. And currently for sale, oh, well, give me that. Currently for sale, 4 million plus listings. Jesus. Y'all hear what I'm saying here? Put me big. Put me big. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, she's she's on a rant. Uh oh, watch out! Look at that, four million plus just for their thread up store. Where are these items coming from? Who's photoing them? Are they just not selling on thread up? Is this, I don't understand any of it. Also, why don't they make this known that all their stuff is on eBay? Has anyone ever tried to cross lit cross like search something on thread up and then on eBay thread up? Because I have not. But I wonder if it's cheaper on one of the other two. Can you turn the ring light on? Lord, Mama needs it. Good Lord. Good Lord. Good Lord. Anyway, I bet you didn't know that. And it just says four million plus. So how long is that? And they've only sold one hundred eighty-five thousand. The sell through rate is horrific. <laughs> it is. You can't have four million listings and only one hundred eighty-five thousand sold. That's terrible. Well, 185,000, I guess that's with feedback, maybe? I don't know. 1% in final value fees. That's lame. I can't even believe it. Yeah, I can't figure out what makes it to their site versus eBay. Because to me, when I look on their site, I think that eBay has more listings than their site. There's no way to actually tell without, like, you know, counting everything in all the different categories. But... I'm supposed to be listening. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Slacker? Come I'm on. Ready. Are you? Yeah, I've already done the work. Done the work. Here's the Island Fishers. All of it's Island Fisher. Here's the Island Fisher. Island Fisher. It's your Island Fisher. Let me see. Is that it? Yeah. It's a petite small. It's the Freaking open cardigan. I know. What's the number? Freaking and... freaking lost the ticket in the box. Fifty six forty nine. God. Amy scroll brain. Dang. Everybody means me. Hey, you leave her alone. Okay, Be Tommy nice. came in at four million fifty four thousand six hundred and eighty seven listed items. How many can you figure out how many sold? Or is the sold number I was looking at just feedbacks? I think it was just feedbacks because it was next to the name. Okay, I'm just wondering what their sell through rate is. And next time I go to shop on ThreadUp, I'm going to shop on eBay first. They got a bundle discount. Mm. <laughs> Seriously. They upload CSV files so they don't have time to cross. They don't have time to cross post. Yeah, that's true. It's still, it is cross posting. Even uploading a CSV file, it's helpful. You know. 
and let, what I'm wondering if it's not cross posting, if it's two separate sets of inventory. That's what I'm wondering. Okay. So the next time you do one like this that's open, can you do it like not a quarter, but like an eighth? Let me just show you. I'm just giving you feedback. <laughs> can I not give you feedback? Sure. So see, this is like a little weird. Yeah. But this is a little too much. I need a little more of that side like, when it's open front like that. Okay. Cool. I'm just going to use it for right now, but it's, it's not. It would be better at an eighth. Okay. Thank you. Or should I just do the open? This is weird. Okay, so if you do the open, then it's better a little more closed. I was trying. It didn't really go. Because it was a petite small and you have a medium mannequin. <laughs> well, it's either that or I have to make you get up. That's why I wanted you to say you said you was going to, and then you didn't. <laughs> I'm really, I'm... Well, I'm just saying that's where my brain was. If we get rid of these, then we could get by better, right? Yeah. Gotta edit, edit the space. I think I'll do the full frontal. <laughs> That's what it looks like, huh? <gasps> Is it visible? Yeah. Is it his makeup or is it like a stain? Okay, I'll just write slight discoloration. Is that fair? That's fair. Looks good anywhere else. Okay. Oh my god, Tommy's detectiving this. Hey, he's that first class. Right, I'm getting caught up here. 830. Oh, Matt's detectiving too. Everybody's a detectiving. Yep. Okay, 838,000 souls out of 4 million. That's not bad, actually, at that volume, right? That's not bad. Use out of stock options so it doesn't show real souls. Oh, that means they also have a crap ton of items listed that are available that aren't available. Uh, the full Monty. <laughs> That's true, Fiona. Oh no. <laughs> Interesting. I'm just wondering, like, what their what their end game is, and do they pay taxes on? You know, like state, I don't get it. Anyway, that's a lifetime sold, not 90 days, 838,000. So we don't know their total listed over a lifetime. We're just assuming that it's 4,838,000, 4 million plus 838,000. But that could be wrong. That's interesting. Wrong is so very, very wrong. I don't see any other spots, do you? No. Okay, good. I came across thread right when I'm looking for my Holy Girl shirt that I still have never found, and I came across it on eBay and I was shook. Got a, I got it saved on Poshmark. It was supposed to be back in June. <laughs> go check. They had their clothes out on the way until like the end of June. Uh, so I had another bag of things disappear. This is the way my Holy Grail shirt disappeared. After a trip, I got home and it was gone. And now after a trip, I got home and my bag is gone. Was Bag with the scarf. Yeah. God, it's gotta be here somewhere. And it has my charger and everything in it. It's gotta it's be here gone. somewhere. It's gone. It's not gone. It can't be gone. Can you take a photo of that spot? No. Okay. I really, I really don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> There is a competitor shoe seller that leaves all his listings up after they sell. It's the dumbest thing ever to waste traffic on items with zero. Why? I don't understand why they would do that. Hi, little turtles. I tried. It's really. Okay. Just put something because I can't <clears throat> see photos. 
why what's the advantage of doing that? And he's always listened to up after it, so why? Yeah, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's not like with shoes you can reuse the photos. You have to take a, a photo of the actual shoe. Is there something I'm missing here? Do I sound like a dumb dumb dumb? Well, if they were a YouTuber, they can claim to have 6,000 listings. What's the point? I'd rather have less listings. As soon as we start creeping up on 2,400, I'm like, maybe start selling more. Like our cap in this office is about 2,400, give or take. We could probably squeeze it to 2,500, but we'd be really full. Really full. So every time we creep up on 2,400, I'm like, man, we need to sell more. It's not a good thing to have more listings. It's like, meaning we're not listing good stuff that's selling quickly. Right? Isn't that the game? The name of the game is to sell the things, not accumulate the things. There's so much you're Sounds reselling that logical. seems so obvious, but then everybody else does the exact opposite. And I'm always like, but why, why <laughs> would you? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Why would you want more listings? Wouldn't you want more sold? I would want like 10 listings, ideally. <laughs> and like 2,300 sold. Yeah, I love to see leave the same photos over and over. Well, okay. I mean, I'm about to do that. I'm not going to lie with these hair products. But it's like a hair product. I want the condition of inside the bottle. Viewers are dumb. They get impressed by listings. Not knowing how dumb it is unless you have tens of thousands. Yeah, I want zero listings too. And we can feel it in our space. We know right when our business is not doing well. We're like, oh, we're full. Dang. I love it when we have space. But there's always that question on every Facebook group every day. Somebody asks, how many listings do you need to see consistent sales? <laughs> Stop it. Pictures coming. I want to like shout into the void. You need good listings to see consistent sales. It's not about how many you have. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh, I should put Coastal Grandma. Totes. Nautical. But I don't know where, there's no keyword, you know, in eBay. The keyword field. Yeah. <clears throat> Freaking cool. I don't know what's in the middle. It's medium. Oh, okay. I thought that was a small. What is that? Oh, no. What? My uncle's calling me. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh. Um, where's my phone? Yes. Yeah. Hello? What's that? Uh, let me see what's happening here. Why does it think peace is spelled wrong? What's going on here? Yeah. Hi, what's happening? Am I going crazy? Did I forget how to spell this word? I've seen people saying that there's no way to have consistent sales in 3 out of 1,000. That's ridiculous. No. It's spelled right. That's what I thought. What's going on? <laughs> Why does my computer think it's spelled wrong? Does it think I'm in another language or something? Very strange. First class, yes. Um, listed. Yeah, it must be grammar, something. Okay, that's live. Cool, I can start lid rolling this thing.
There's a bunch of stuff happening. Always a bunch of stuff happening. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm going to aggressively lid roll this coat. Things. Things. This is a double, a double knit, I think. I think that's what you call this. Because it looks like, you know, two sweatshirts. You know, stuck together. Cool. All right. Aggressive windmill. Finish one of those things without the phone dying. All right. You guys are talking amongst yourselves. That's good. It's good. Spending 25 to sell for 40. Are you kidding me? No. The thing that I can't stand is like. Where's my phone? Come on. Here we go. <laughs> the people that are like, well, I picked this up for eight and I sold it for 16. Well, you know, at least I, at least I doubled my money. Like, no. You didn't, you didn't come anywhere close to doubling your money once you account for cost of goods and fees, but not even close did you double your money. Stop it. Stop saying that. That's just wrong. This five a day and sell five a day on average. See, that's pr that's pretty great.
this thing, I don't think, I think this thing needs to go into a box. It's just a little bit too thick. Okay. Did anything else go wrong with my family? No, I shouldn't say it. Knock on wood. God, please knock on wood. Everyone watching, please knock on wood. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. Now my uncle's dog is having seizures. Wonderful. While my grandma was saying the rosary. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! Okay. All right. What are we? What are we on my chat? Oh, we're doing this jacket. Did it fit? Did it look good? It was wonderful. Yeah, totally great. You know, this is a five hundred fifty dollar jacket. I believe it. It's very yeah, nice. It's like a wool. It's called felted merino wool. Yeah, it's called um, double face. There you go. There you go. All right, let me get caught up on this chat, you guys. I'm serious. It's gonna calm down at some point. Well, it's my family, so you might know it, but yeah, the deal. Do you guys ever do consignment for good items that have sat for a bit? I found it to be a good source of revenue. Who do you consign with, MB? Like a place? No, we have not. I'm answering your question inadvertently. No, obviously we haven't. I'm like, huh? Hmm, how do you do this? What do you mean? But then I'm like, well, we sold that pair of Prada shoes today, and it's been sitting for a year and a half. So then I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, right? Interesting. My friend that uses tons of other people's photos for pre-owned shoes. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. That's not your friend, Tommy. Not that con, man. <laughs> I've seen people say that there's no way to have good consistent daily sales until you're at 1,000 listings. I have good consistent daily sales of 200, 250 items. Yep. Totally agree. It's all hoopla. Claude James is still doing videos. Yeah, me too. I haven't I haven't caught up though. I will. Is James still here? Hi. I finished my listings without my phone dying. <laughs> Thanks for keeping us updated, man. I'm always worried about your phone. People get on me when I send them screenshots of my, you know, my batteries that like slither, sliver. Yeah. Did I charge her phone? Come <laughs> no. on. Don't tell me how to live my life. What are you doing to me? Yes, Matt. It's because lots of YouTubers literally suck at reselling. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not trying to take this personally. Like, because you wouldn't be here if, if you thought that about us. I'm sure of it. Or maybe you are. Maybe you're recording us so you can do a reaction video later. <laughs> <laughs> Check out these guys. <laughs> It's so bad. Oh, man. Sadly, some are good at YouTube and have a big reach for cigarettes. I can't. That's why in our videos, I'm always salty. Like, today, <laughs> I'm like, petite medium. Doesn't sell. Sold. <laughs> People say this doesn't sell. Mm -hmm. I always say, like, today, I said it a bunch. I was real salty. I was like, yeah. according to YouTube, I shouldn't be able to sell this. Sold. Sold it. You know why I knew I could sell it? Because there were other sold. Hey. That's how that works. If I see one more video spending 25 to sell 40, I may scream. Girl, you and me both. There's uh, one certain channel. I'm uh, not going to mention it. I won't. You can. You uh, could... I already said it. You did not. I didn't say what channel it was, but I think I already said what you're going to say. What did you say? I said I was like, I'm, people say, oh, I bought this for eight and sold it for 16 at least i doubled my money i'm like no you the, didn't stop it stop you did not the entire video every time <laughs> i spent 10 on this i sold it for 22 so i about doubled my money no, no you didn't even close even. to double your money <laughs> like no you didn't how do you make any money <sighs> says me today he sent a bottle of shampoo and paid 435 to the person to son <laughs> of a i really need to fix that listing but that was a really old listing. I really need these other regional A boxes. That's what I need. Um, I need mm -hmm. but slide this guy down here for later. But I have a lot. Make sure to put it together. 45. But I have bought a ton of the same item for a dollar each to sell for 10. So I'm speaking for both sides now. Totally get it. But if you can list it quickly, to me, Listing a $1 item is so much quicker than listing 
uh, like the $800 items because you got to make sure your photos are perfect and they're accurate and everything. If it's a dollar, I don't care. I'm not even going to take the return. I'm going to say keep it. I don't care. Because I'm not out anything. I'm out a dollar. Right? So my photos are like blah, 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 like whatever. Right? It's when we start doing this higher dollar stuff where I'm like, damn, we need the right lighting. We need the blah, blah, blah. Because that stuff, I don't want to get a return on it. I want it to be people know what they're buying. Yeah, that dollar stuff. We don't care. Like shorts, we'll just throw them up on the flat lay. Literally throw them. Think, think, think. Hope they stick. <laughs> Woo! An upscale resale store in my area. Okay. We have one of those. I don't know if it, yeah. Is that place a consignment? martini place i think so we want at the end of our street we should we should look into yeah, it we kinda, don't, don't you know the guy we kind of know the guy the so, guy's dad his dad right bill, bill. <laughs> <laughs> duh okay it's freaking bill. I love bill not he bob is. not the duck bob I bill. bill someone totally different i have been making thirty dollars I mean, it is all proud. I have 50% still left on my battery. <laughs> I have been making $30 for items and can pick things up that haven't sold at the end. Well, that's good. Yeah, okay, okay, maybe we should look into this. Can I send you these pictures? Yeah. Oh my god, everyone's calling this man Harry Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's any different than Harry Tornado. Both of them are weird. They are weird. <laughs> Both of those are weird names. I just love, you know what is actually very smart and witty and funny and very endearing? Haley Tornado. That's cute as F. <laughs> he, he was Harry Tornado, his wife named Her Haley. Yeah. And she came out as Haley Tornado. That's cute. Yeah. I got to give him that. That's cute. She ain't done nothing wrong. Then she just, she just working it. Working. I've only watched like two videos with her in it, so I have no room to comment, but I just like her name. Yeah. I like a little clever pun. <laughs> you like a good shtick. I love some shtick. If you weren't here to give names, why am I here? Tracy, I just, I can't. <laughs> so I have an issue giving, and I'll give you a hint. I have an issue giving out names on reseller couples. Because I feel like it's salty because like we're in the same game. And it's not because of that. I'll give out names when it's not a reseller couple. I'm, I'm, you know. <laughs> but as soon as it's a couple, I'm like, mm. <laughs> I get real hesitant. Because I feel like it's coming from the wrong place. But it's not. But I feel like it sounds like it is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, eBay's kicking out pictures again. Just letting everybody know. Hooray! Backing out and coming back in. Loose thread on this top button. Just saying. It'll be okay, right? Totally. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's my standard. It's nice, too. It's double knit. Well. There's a couple couples, not just Ginger Marvin, okay? There's a couple of couples out there. There's like five. There's You're five. five reseller couples. Are there five? Yeah. So I never say bad things about any of them because I don't want to sound salty. Like you do you, boo boo. All right. In fact, mm -hmm. I don't really watch any of them anymore. I only watch James now and Gretchen's videos. I watch hers. I watch Randy's one time last week. I really whittled it down because I haven't had much time. I did watch half of Courtney's video today on the porch. <laughs> you better try to baby wipe that. I'm not. I'm not putting that on the. That's merino. I'm not putting that on the wash. If not, just we'll just note it, right? Yeah. Okay. So what I think we should do with this sweater is is cuff it up because it looks like stupid and nerdy. We're gonna make it look a little like more hipster. So you can see that it's double knit as well. <clears throat> okay. I was thinking about this when I was listing it because all the pictures, it's not worth a lot of money because they're this picture is stupid. Wonderful. But that's cool. But like, we just gotta make, we just gotta style it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just gotta make it look a little cuter. Where did it go? See, you can't even find it. Shh. That's 
cuter already, right? Cute. You is cute. All right, we got TV show talk now. Okay, hold on. Let me come catch up with you. What's the number with the um, purple jacket and there's no ticket? Where did they get? We'll send them. Four five five one. Four five five one. Okay, this thing is. I think this, this thing's thin enough to go into a bag. Yeah, it's a bag. Right. Isn't it cuter like that? Yes. Are you sure? Are you just saying that? Both. No kidding. <laughs> Come on. Rude. Jokes. Who is rude? I'm just joking. Huh. Okay, so I put that purple at Shoes Local. Is that correct? <clears throat> yeah. Matt, don't make me. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's trolling me. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of sketch sometimes, but we're real honest about it. <laughs> we totally sold a bottle of shampoo today and paid someone five dollars to take it. Son of a. Sure did. But we didn't edit it out, and I literally showed how much money we lost. We time. lost four dollars and thirty six cents. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Hey yo. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me get that. Hey, Danica. Hello. I never, never pay attention to the numbers. They seem like nice people. Uh, Haley, I'm gonna be so much to Robin. Ways for one easy payment of three hundred dollars. Attend FlipCon. You know what's weird about the FlipCon? It's called like Con. <laughs> I feel like that's really weird. I've said it to Dan a couple times. Like, wouldn't you call it something different? Like, why would you call it a con? Like straight out of the boot gate. <laughs> would you call it like Flip Expo or something? <laughs> why do you call it a con like, right right away? Because that's you know it's a different term. No. Convention is what everybody calls it. No, but it feels weird. I, I agree with you. Read the room. <laughs> if she stands beside him while committing the fraud, she is just as guilty. Maybe so. I don't know about the fraud. They're doing another fundraiser this week, so get ready. I just saw it on Instagram. Uh -oh. He said, You like shtick? I love a shtick. Thank you. Welcome back, Amy. Oh, so nice. I do miss the Vin Pickers. They were they were a cool couple. I do miss them. I don't know why they, they went away for a while. I don't know if they're coming back or oh. not. What? I have that Lulu lemon thing on my desk that I was going to do. Hmm. Forgot. I like the, um, they had the kind of same dynamic as Dan and I do, but Dan's like knowledgeable. I like how he acted like he didn't know Jack. He definitely didn't know Jack, but he acted like he didn't. Has anyone watched the movie The Gray Man or the show The Old Man? No and no. I don't think so, although I'll watch an entire series of a show not knowing what it's called. It's happened many times. Yes. And then somebody goes, you have to watch a show. So then I tell Dan and we turn it on and we've already watched it. I'm yep. Like, oh. Seen it. <laughs> Careful with those YouTubers that go by the hustle couple. Super sketchy business. Uh oh, watch out. Did you catch the rabid raccoon Courtney took in as a pet? What? No. I did not see that. Are you talking about the stalker? Are you referring to the stalker as a rabid raccoon? Yeah. There was a stalker involved, but I don't think she took her in as a pet. I failed at not buying. It's the right food flavor into this morning. Okay. So, which bins did you go to, Denica? See, Amanda can think of six right now. I'm counting us of couples. It's true. There, oh, there are a lot oh. of couples. I just don't comment on any of them. No comment. I felt bad for it. James is ASMR. I totally agree. 
I feel like he is hiding and whispering where the wife is asleep, and he's afraid to wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I love James's videos. Amy and Dan, I met this girl at the bins in 2020. She came in my live the other night. Anyway, she is in Dallas, and I told her we would meet at the bins. Yeah, 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 totally. Tell us when to go. We'll go. Amy doesn't need much reason to go to the bins. I know. Matt said, a $4 loss. Now you're sounding like real YouTube resellers. <laughs> That's dang right. It. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We're really bad at retail arbitrage. No bones about it. Like, do not listen to anything we say about retail arbitrage. But first, I have to go to Houston. Tanika, you go to many places. You too can pay somebody $4 to take this <laughs> shampoo. I said the same thing. This is when you know people are sheeple. Con is in the name. <laughs> Tracy agrees with me. It literally says plus con. Yep. And they're going to con you out of your money. Bye. He was asking for, y'all, stop it. He was asking for goodies or like swag to give up. Swag. Swag is a different thing. <laughs> came out of my mouth and I was like, that's, that's totally wrong. He was asking for swag <laughs> to go in these, in how many was it? 300 or something? I think it was 300. It was like a little number, okay? Yeah. And I'm like, this guy is asking for it for 300 goodie bags for his con. Oh man! And I was like, Dan, what can we send? <laughs> <laughs> How do we spam this guy with three hundred something? And we were brainstorming like, what? Because he wanted them for free, right? We're like, what do we have three hundred of? <laughs> yeah. We were like pool noodles. <laughs> <laughs> like we could chop up pool noodles <laughs> and write and show be the hustle couple. <laughs> oh my god! Just like totally troll him. He didn't have any stipulation of what it could be. <laughs> this is a promotional item. Right. Seems legit. <laughs> he was like, oh man, I just want it. we have like 300 ties in the death pile. Should we send it to <laughs> I was like, seriously, <laughs> thinking, we have magic cards that aren't Jack, and we just write the hug of couple on the back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> seriously, we had this conversation for like 10 minutes. What do we have? 300. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. I've got 300 missing buttons. We could send a button per bag. Just put our name on it. It's promotional, right? Yeah. Here come the pictures. 300 single shoes from the bins. <laughs> Wait, what did you just list? What was that? Oh. Cardigan. What's up, Christopher? Oh. Oh, gee. Expo sounds better than con. I agree with you, right? When I first found you guys, oh, Tommy's going to let it out here. Uh-oh. When I first found you guys, I was like, uh oh, we have some bad info here. You know <clears throat> and the phase of telling people you just list so many junk items for months to increase listings and sales. I still do that, Tommy. I still do that. I will die on that hill. <clears throat> yeah, but it's not. Junk is a misnomer, though. Yeah. Um... It's stuff that you know we'll sell out of those. Yeah, grab, they all have sell-through rate. Grab bags. Yeah. I get the grab bags for next to nothing, and then I sell them. I only list the things out of the grab bags that have sell-through rate, and I know we'll sell, and it all sells. So it increases my conversion. I will die on the hill. I still do it. And each day we still sell stuff like that, like $8, $10, whatever. But it also helps... Um, it helps our conversions, and then we get repeat buyers all the time from it. I'm telling you, I will die on the hill. We don't do videos on it anymore, you're correct, because people weren't doing it in the way that I thought was correct. People were always like, bring back junk of the month, and I won't do it, because people weren't checking sell-through rates. They were literally listing junk. <clears throat> and the whole time I was saying, no, 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 don't list junk. Because in those junk bags, I've gotten like $100 items before. I get TI-84 pluses all the time in those junk bags. Pluses, this, this, this. Like, how many? Like a lot That's of happened them. at least four times. At least four times. And they sell for seventy dollars, between fifty and seventy dollars overnight every single time. Yeah. So my point is pick up the junk bags and then find anything else in the bag find one thing that's worth it. And then anything else in the bag that has a sell through rate, you can list it and it will convert. And it does. I'm telling you. I will die on the hill. If you want to stop watching, I understand. <laughs> What's the number of the sweater that you just said? Fifty six fifty one. I'm not going to lie. I believe in that strategy. And it got you here, see? 
right? Gotcha. Sucker. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I'm just playing. Just playing. Come on. And I think for a lot of people um, that don't have like tons of inventory, it's a really good way to like, get started with eBay feedback if you don't have a lot of money. You could take 10 bucks and get like three or four junk bags and really make some conversions happen to get some feedback. Yeah. I've made that point many times as well. It's a good strategy. If I was just out there like buy junk, I think that's different. But people weren't listening, so I stopped talking about it. I felt like it could be taken the wrong way. And it was. It's fine. <laughs> Just making sure all my details are right here. I'm gonna get caught up in the comments just once. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Ah. Uh, what is your? Hey, Christopher. I said hi, but then I didn't answer your question. I'm oh. sorry. Oh, bringing their kids into comments? No. That, that's that's a no go. What is you guys' process of listing? So in these live listings, I have pre-drafted these during the day, meaning I look them up, look for comps, and I put in the title with the size that we have, and then I put in the price based on the research I've done. And so it's kind of like a ghost draft. And then he takes pictures tonight, and I kind of fill in the rest of the draft, and then he airdrops the pictures to my computer, and I fill in the draft and we list. So like, here's the Lululemon that we're about to list right now. I've already... Google image it, figured out what style it was and what size it was. So I filled in all this and it's correct. So I don't have to touch the item. Does it have a size dog? Yes. It's in the boob. In the boob. <laughs> I have seen one episode of the old man so far and I really enjoy it. We were watching the gray man tonight. Oh, I'm not to write these on. Wait, let me take a picture. I keep taking a picture of you guys' with comments and I have all these weird comment pictures. <laughs> we're always looking for good shows. No, a real raccoon, but I might be stretching the truth about it being a pet. Is it in her latest video? Because I only watched half so far. Who are they fundraising for? One day it will all come out. He is now doing shorts, I'm being told, because his views are tanking, so trying to inflate them. They did do a short about a crumbling dance go that I saw, and their fundraiser is for a women's shelter, women's in Honduras or something. I, I just saw it. He said he was doing one video every single day next week to raise... They, he's trying to raise 50 grand. I was like, uh oh. My red flag alert was going off. <laughs> Fort Worth. Now that the fire in the sky is lowered. <laughs> Truth. I like the Fort Worth Benz. I haven't been in it in a couple of years. He needs to use the money he got from 300 people to get their goodies. <laughs> <laughs> 300 tag holder downers. Yes, holder Marianne wins. 300 paper clips. <laughs> blue piece of tape. <laughs> Sometimes you use the binder clip. Some blue painter's tape. <laughs> I think we missed the deadline, but I really was trying to think of something. And then we just put our YouTube channel on it. <laughs> We just confetti bomb it with like QR codes. Yeah, something. Angela is perfectly blessed. Amanda is um what's your other oh. name? Fireball. Okay. Fireball. Angela. Okay. Sold seven things this weekend. That was going for me well. One order. Oh, that's good. That's great if one order three things. That's awesome. Maybe I misunderstood. I was confused. I was bamboozled by the Amy's. <laughs> Aren't you always? Aren't you always bamboozled, Tommy? He thinks I speak foreign languages. I love it. But you know what, though? Most people are just like, that girl's annoying, but not Tommy. He listens to what I'm saying sometimes. Mm -hmm. sometimes. I don't know why you think people think you're annoying. I don't think that I'm having introspective moments. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send me Lulu's pictures? Are you um, still doing? About two. Okay. I just bought 100 zero one items from China that has never shown up to get feedback. Perfect. China. China. 
There you go. They're coming. They're coming. Dan was taping at packages when she talked about something already. You didn't, you're just in here. Before he got her silent tape. <laughs> True. <laughs> <clears throat> I have always talked about Southern Ray. I'm like, that's the only reason to resell. And that's why I get so mad when Dan goes out and he doesn't look it up. I'm like, did you look at salt? <laughs> like a crazy person. Okay, this one definitely needed a quarter turn. So we have 12 pictures. You always need it like an eighth and a quarter. Let's start adding that to the. Okay. You know what I mean? It's going to kick these pictures out. I know it. Because it had like, it was a double layer. Mm -hmm. So you can't see that in the front picture. But there's no quarter picture either. Mm. You just like didn't do a quarter picture. So I think we should add an eighth and a quarter just to have it. Because we always have extra. So then we have options, you know. Okay. Depending on what the item is. It's going to kick these out. i got to redo it. Oh, you make glitches. Fireball Flippers is Amanda, and Perfectly Blessed is Angela. Right, just for the... Oh, did I just... I probably just, like, misspoke. Sorry. I know exactly who you guys are. I'll tell you if I don't know your name. I'll be like, e I'll do this face. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I forget. I bought a pair of vintage Dr. Dark Martins. Nice. Same in England. That's good. Um, you can sell them on Poshmark. Just, just. Yep. yep. It, it'll be fine. You didn't hear that from us, though. Uh, send them. Okay, what's the Lulu number? Oh, I think I have it here. Um, 5652. Five, Don't ask me any more questions about what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Just send them. Just send it. What do you need? Remember? Okay. It. Always a country that has no way to contact them to verify, right? Yeah, listen to MB. Join the lives when you weren't in them just last week. I am kidding. <laughs> Uh oh, Amanda, she's a she's a traitor. Why? She didn't want to join the live because I went to. Mhm. Mhm. Okay, um, you can pay extra to ship over five pounds. Just remember and add it in your price. Don't accept the crap offer. Or you could just send it. <laughs> <laughs> pull me big, pull me big. <laughs> or you could just try to send it. <laughs> Until you hear otherwise. <laughs> yeah, about that. I'm not endorsing this ad. Just. Just <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. Sure <laughs> thing supplies. <clears throat> <laughs> they don't even ask. I didn't know there was a weight limit on Poshmark until like a year ago, to be honest. So, and we sold on Poshmark for two years. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> Bundles. I'm Sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. You know how much extra shipping people pay on Poshmark? Do you know how much extra shipping for a one ounce item? Sometimes they pay seven dollars something. That's crazy. Priority. That's crazy though. That's what I'm saying. So everything's it padded. It doesn't get any cheaper than that. But I'm saying that's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm saying they're padding all the things. Yes. So the post office gives them leeway because they're sending little baby things. For, they're post office getting their money. I, I, but I don't agree with that because what I'm saying is even a one ounce thing yes in a one by one by one package is like seven seventy five on I, eBay or priority mail. I know that, but they have a deal. Well, I, I'm I, trying I, to explain no, to I you. Get that, I, I get that. 
they're not like lugging around huge no jumbo heavy packages like most of the things people send on posh aren't tie that because it's stupid it's going faster yes but it's not like You can tie back so I can fit an Ikea bag compared to boxes. Right. Uh -huh. A lot. A whole lot. How many can you fit in a mail truck compared to boxes? A lot. A lot. And they're still paying the same price as a huge box. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to get off this topic now. Thank you okay. very much for attending our TED Talk. Tonight. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> yeah, it's going through priority. I understand that. It's literally on the label, I think. Yeah, it's on the label. Yeah. It is. You're right. Wasn't always on the label. It's on the label. We don't really sell much on Poshmark anymore. It's on the label. Anyway, exit stage left. It's my time. My time. What? You didn't even ask anybody to check in. Yeah, let's check in. What everybody do? <laughs> Let me go sleep. My earrings. I'm missing my earrings. That feels so weird. Yes, but your stacks will look bigger if you box everything. Learn how to grow an audience, bro. We ain't have room for that. Everything goes in a time bag. No Sorry. time. Yeah. Amanda listed six items and her phone didn't die. Yes. Yes. Both of us. <laughs> Power. Power move. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> Where's Megan? She always checks in. Is she still here? Bag it. Yeah, because they don't take up any room in your office. Why would you have all these stacks of boxes everywhere if you didn't need to? Yeah, right? Who cares? Bag it. I try to keep my stacks as small as possible. Same. Who wants to lug all that crap into the post office? You gotta make trips. You gotta get a cart. Remember that time you had to get a cart? Oh, I had to have two carts. It's horrible. <laughs> Listed four of the seven pairs of shoes I prepped, finishing up the rest now. Oh, that's good. Shoes are doing well. Yes. Tell me, like, shoes ain't doing well. Drink two glasses of wine and box up more of my death pile. Trying to find my dining room. Mm -hmm. Dan tried to find our dining room when I was gone. He's kind of halfway there. I found part of it. We found a corner. Found some of the kitchen island, too. <clears throat> Reselling is like wicked like that. It takes over your house. It like has a mind of its own. You know how on hoarders they like talk about the hoard as if it has its own mind. I feel like reselling stuff is adjacent to that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> First cousins. We're definitely living in a hoard of types. Oh, Megan, hope you feel better. Have a good night. Oh no. Good night. Take some medicine. I hate migraines. Organized my money pile today and found lots of linen and three pairs of women's running shoes. See, okay, there you go. Okay. What's those right now? Yes. Sell them. So good. Okay, we're going to go get snacks. Snackies. Oh, snacks. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. See you back here tomorrow. Yeah, no matter how big this space, it grows yep. the environment. Oh my God, it's so true. It's like the blob. It is ex that's exactly what I was about to say. It is the blob. It's the blob. All right. <laughs> We're going to go fight the blob. Everybody have an awesome night. Good night. Bye. Bye.